Hey guys, how is it going? It's 8 Bit Eric, and I got to try out the brand new Samurai Showdown game that just came out. I played the Nintendo Switch version, and I have some thoughts about it. So that's what today's video is obviously about. If you saw the title and thumbnail of this video, such redundancy. Anyways, I used to play the original Samurai Showdown way back in the day back at my local pizza joint. There was a double dragon machine, a pole position machine, and a samurai showdown machine. And I always kind of had a hankering for samurai showdown anytime I threw down some pizza. So when the new one was released, I was like, yes, I get to check it out because it's been a while since I played any of the games in this series. So I was pretty stoked, pretty excited. This one actually looked pretty cool. Of course, it has the updated HD graphics with all the cast and you know favorites of the history of the franchise all rolled up into one new bundle that provides lots of different options and stuff and the, the main thing that I wanted to sink my teeth into the most on this was the online mode online gaming especially in fighting games is something that is very important if, if you don't get the online right on any games you're going to be in serious trouble. And one common criticism that Nintendo Switch gets quite often is how the online works for any of its games. You know, you have to have the Switch online service, which in itself is open to a lot of criticism. But I will say it was actually pretty quite easy to strike up a game online with a friend. In this instance, I played with RGT85. Yep, he rolled his lazy butt out of bed and played a few rounds with me. And we got to really sink our teeth into this game and see what the online was all about. And I gotta say, I didn't really experience any kind of lag issues, any kind of connection problems. The game felt just as good online as it did with offline mode. And we played quite a bit. I got to kind of learn the ropes. With Samurai Showdown, you can't go in thinking it's going to play a lot like Mortal Kombat or even Street Fighter. It's its own type of different game. Most of the characters have their own swords, you know, samurai swords and, and weaponry and stuff like that. So they play with some kind of like unique fighting style depending on who you have. Some characters are actually quite zany and just kind of out there as far as like the way they look and the way that their fighting style is. So I played around with a select few different characters. Didn't quite find my main yet because uh, I wasn't that great with any of the characters I've played. But it was easy to kind of quickly pick up and play and figure out the combos, how to juggle the opponent, how to figure out how to use the big powerful move where you can kind of do a pretty critical death blow to them. Your meter fills up on the bottom of the screen and you're able to unleash some serious damage that can actually more than likely near kill your opponent. So it took some time to get used to, but it wasn't that hard. It wasn't that challenging. Me, I'm, I'm an old school fighting like player. I don't play any of the new stuff. I haven't played any of the new Tekken games or anything that's basically at Evo. So I'm pretty much a noob when it comes to how fighting games were. I grew up playing Mortal Kombat in the 90s and Street Fighter and occasionally playing Samurai Showdown at the pizza joint that I mentioned in the backstory. So getting to sink the teeth into this brand new game, getting to experience it and play it for the first time and stuff was new territory for me. And I gotta say, it didn't scare me. It wasn't intimidating. I didn't feel out of place. I think I picked up the controls, especially against another human player, rather significantly okay. So I had fun doing the online mode. There's also other online modes on here where you can play against ghost players where people have like their players submitted and you can actually challenge each other and pick up the ghosts and collect them and stuff. I guess it's almost like how Mario Kart has ghost racers. Uh, it, it was kind of interesting. You're even able to like take on a hundred ghosts in one setting like in a gauntlet mode or whatever. So online mode, it, it wasn't like super robust. There was casual and ranked modes. I played a casual match with RGT85. Uh, you can do a friend search. You can open a room. You can create a room. So pretty much basic as far as setting up an online match goes, but it worked pretty good. Now offline, there's quite a bit of unlockables made through different modes you're able to unlock retro skins to make like your characters look like older versions of, of themselves in previous games 
Um, so there's the story mode, which of course each character has their own story and kind of like plays out like any traditional story mode out there. And then you can do a battle mode, which is more arcade like you can do versus. You can do a time trial where you have to defeat a certain amount of enemies within a, a lot of time. There's a survival mode, a gauntlet mode. So survival, basically you just try to last as long as you can. And uh, it's like an endless amount of opponents. In gauntlet mode, you basically just face every single character in the game and try to live as long as you can. Kind of like, kind of like in pro wrestling when you see a wrestler come out and they get the pin and they face the next guy. Uh, there, there was also some other modes out there, like I mentioned, uh, the ghost mode. There was the uh, different types of challenges and stuff. And, and overall, I was really impressed with what was out there and stuff. The game did not feel cheap. You know, this is a franchise that has a history in the arcade scene. It didn't feel cheap, but it didn't feel as complex as like what Mortal Kombat 11 might feel or the latest Street Fighter might feel. You know, the combo systems and stuff didn't feel as fluid and fast. I, I'm attributing it though to Samurai Showdown being more of a different type of fighter. It's its own bag, you know what I mean? It does. It's not supposed to play like those other games, so I'm gonna leave it to that. I'm gonna leave it to my inexperience of not really having the knowledge or foresight of how the games go. Because let's be let's be real, I'm a casual noob when it comes to Samurai Showdown. But I did actually have a lot of fun picking it up and trying to figure out the characters and stuff. And of course, there's a, a training mode in here where you can learn the moves and and get good and stuff. So this is something that I can definitely see myself playing through all the characters, seeing what I can unlock, seeing what I can get out of the story mode, and they do have DLC. There's an eShop link in there, so I'm sure there's going to be character packs, stage packs, things coming out, so unfortunately it looks like there is going to be some unlockables made through DLC, but modern gaming, fighting game, they usually do that. I mean, look at Super Smash Bros. Samurai Shodan, I think overall though, for what it is, what I saw right now, it's a solid game. I would probably give it a good 8 out of 10. I was amused with it. It didn't feel like it ran horribly. There was no frame rate issues, no lag issues. It was easy for me to pick up and play. The online work, which is the most of what I can ask for anything on the Nintendo Switch if I'm going to be, you know, absolutely honest. Because having to pay for online causes a whole new avenue of pay. This stuff better work, it better connect, it better not have issues, it better be, you know, easy to start a new game and stuff. So the online mode, which I do think is going to be the main highlight of this game, because let's face it, you do story mode once, you never deal with it again. You get the most replay value and everything out of the online modes and anything that keeps track of your score and stuff like that with leaderboards and your rankings and things like that so samurai showdown did have a fair amount of that which was perfect for me i think it's actually one of the better fighting games on the nintendo switch I, i'm not going to say that it's as good as a mortal kombat 11 but i will say that samurai showdown is definitely worth a little look-see if you're looking for something to sink your teeth into on the nintendo switch this is also available on other platforms i unfortunately got only a switch version i didn't try out you know the other platforms but i'm sure if it's any other consolation that if it runs okay on the nintendo switch that it runs all right on the playstation 4 or wherever you're going to play this on uh, again coming from a casual and a noob that has no real experience with Samurai Showdown other than occasionally popping a quarter in it at the pizza joint back in the 90s. I was thoroughly impressed. So yeah, I had solid 8 out of 10. Everything worked. It was easy to pick up and play. I'm figuring out the moves. I had a lot of fun. I didn't get frustrated with it. Everything ran A-OK. -okay. So I'm going to go ahead and say that it is worth giving a check out for. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned anything brand new, if you have anything to input, let me know down below in the comments. Comment down below. Don't forget to leave that like or that dislike if you think I'm a piece of trash. I don't care. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to enable those notifications. And I will see you guys on the next video. Have a great day and uh, peace out, my friends. Love each and every single one of you. See you on the next video. Consider supporting 8-Bit Eric on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description.
You want to become part of the hashtag 8BE Nation, guys? Well, be sure to pick up your official merch now available online. Link is below in the description. We got classic t shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now. And while you're at it, guys, feel free to watch the next video or why don't you catch up on one that you might have previously missed. Thanks again, guys, for all the support. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing. And don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you are brand new. Thanks again, guys. Peace out.